Hello everyone, this is Yellow Toy back with another adventure. This time it is the first annual KiryuCon 2017. So here I am at the front lobby. You know, got my tickets and now I'm about to enter in the exhibit hall B in Pasadena Convention Center. This is actually the first annual KiryuCon 2017. So it's a smaller venue, not like DesignerCon, but it is in the same location as DesignerCon. As you can tell, it's a hundred vendors, only a hundred vendors this time, so they only took up only amount of haul. And so I'm gonna start out where that is at DKE Toys. So as you can tell, DKE Toys is all over the place when it comes to vinyl toys, vinyl art, and even just regular action figures. They have Star Wars, they have Michael Jackson, they have pop culture stuff, they have music, movie flicks, and all types of good stuff and it was everything was on um, available to purchase and everything was on sale too so as you can tell from that gay empire and actually this is the other side of the boot and I wanted to purchase something which was the orange Kemashi Mario head right there but the color didn't suit me well I had a double take and so here I am with more boots as you can tell so that boot is actually quite good and I saw some great, great creative stuff from other boots too. And here, here it is. It's all freaks and geeks, coaster stuff, pop culture, and also retro gaming, Pac-Man, even Lego Man, all that good stuff. And here is the another overview of the venue at the end of the venue. So you can tell they, that's how it was placed. And I actually shout out to MJ Shu Art. That's her name. She's actually a toy designer on her career but also as a hobby she's designing all these vinyl figures or even just art toys cupcakes even cats even the ponies and great stuff check her website out I'll put it a link on this video and here is lover and monsters with pillows pop culture stuff Tupac um, David Bowie Prince Chance the Rapper lovers and monster pillows so that was great and then he, i keep seeing this particular um vendor right here f u c k with the tiger logo so he, here they are again at curio con instead of designer con and also here is ellingson this guy is great i'm telling you this guy has good great colorful art and so here we are more boots more art um a lot of art stuff around here and that was actually the point of the convention is art here is Vincent Moreses with some um, my little pony figures that's the lunch lunch mystery box near some art on the wood so that was actually great and here is some I shouldn't say coasters but they kind of look like coasters but they're actually quite colorful and I enjoyed seeing them it just so happens they didn't have anything that I liked, but it was great seeing it nonetheless. It was quite creative, quite colorful, and they were actually pretty cheap as you can tell $3 each and two for $5. So that was absolutely great. And so here we go again. Um, it's called Vinny Chav Toys Concrete Jungle. Check them out. They also had the great um, vinyl and or resin toys. There's the Buddha, there's some monsters right there, some animals right there. It was also a great boot. And he had some stickers lined up too. And he even had some posters, uh, meet and greet. And I also talked to him and he had some great photography and he had some great artwork in the meantime. So check his work, work stuff. And, and for some reason, here we go. Quid Brains, I also saw them before. I mean, I'm telling you that that particular company is growing up. He, this is Rabbits and Robots, another creative boot right here. Squishies, plush, uh, sorry for the video shaking. And this is for the refreshment toys. Look at that line. As you, this is this was 9.45 a.m., okay? 9.45, the venue opened at 9 a.m. And I cannot believe they had a long ass line. So apparently I was told that a lot of these toys or resin toys, whatever you want to call them, 
are only made in only made and available in Japan so you couldn't ship them so these were exclusive supposedly exclusive and these were hard to find and so people lined up as you can tell you can see from the resin toys they got some cute stuff they got some shirts they got some pillows they got some toys hanging earlier in the monkey in the uh, on the monkey bars and so they were quite clear and yeah and that's all i have to basically say and so here we have another boot right here this was at the back end as you can tell there's a bricks la quite an empty showroom um there's some people are there and here's some uh resellers right here and this is another boot right here uh he, they had some kitty plush toys and also jewelry so that was pretty good again this was in the back end this is slime time toys they are actually i think they are resellers because i've seen some classic stuff in their boot as you can tell and i've seen them uh, around you know from uh, vintage toys uh, stores and he this is carolyn folly and so they had some pins and they had some panels for the and she was actually one of the panels so that was great and moving on we have novelties by stex that's some resin figure action figure from breaking bad and also just random stuff this is board ink this is grid right right here some female stuff quite colorful but nonetheless it was great here's some more boots right here oh stephen what can I say about this person? Stephen Holman, creator of Nickelodeon Kablam. When I was growing up in the 90s, late 90s, or you wanna, wanna call it, had to watch Kablam, Nick at Night, all that. You know what I mean? So that was great. Great to see him. He had some art, some pillows. He also had some art, uh, artwork and sketching albums. And this is another boot right here. Had some plushies and also some art. So again, great stuff. Looking at it again, zooming in. So it took a, it took some time over there. And this is some good stuff right here. Mostly plushies and also headwear, apparel. And we're going to this boot right here. A lot of the, his stuff is actually uh, the loyal subject repainted or just doing custom work. As you can tell from the prices and even the colors uncle scroll right there that's the name and he also had some exclusive funko pops even ordinary pops you know you can't can't really avoid funko pops i'm a fan of funko pops he also had some kid robot dunnies custom painted dunnies and also some kid robot vinyl stuff and on the other side of his boot check this out more vinyls and green lantern right there and loyal subjects a lot of custom painted stuff so all this good stuff so moving on to a new boot just checking it out one more time just to enjoy and here we have fearsome beasts they got some picture frame arts and also some stickers and posters so they good creative work again different art technique right there and here we have some that soon 240 robot dance battle good boot talk to those people and we have jupi uh had an exclusive art toy right there those four right there or should i say two had some shirts plush again plush is in effect right now also some accessories also some apparel stickers and magazine oh what can i say about this boot yf colorful boot you wall decorations of animals naoshi 501 japanese she's a japan she's japanese the art actually looks like her literally looks like her talk to her for a bit here's some more boot right here great art again what can i say about this boot there's that bb from star wars create that's that's the art style right there the floor delay that's the word i was looking for floor delay and here's another boot right here 
And again, a lot of these convent uh, KiryuCon is mainly for artists and also vinyl art toys and also for resellers. So you get to see a lot of art toys. I mean, art toys and art and also local artists and more boots. And here we got Arwa Arwama. I saw them in designer con before. I also seen them in local events. And check this out. The shirt. The shirt is pretty cool. Nuclear tea. And he also has some resins. And more boots right here. I'm gonna come back to this, okay? Because you see what I mean. He webs squishy. This is pretty cool right here. 3D art. It's like patches. A colorful patch. It's not hand painted. It's not by airbrush or hand brush it's actually printed and check this out right here i love this boot right here look at that you got the rgb lighting you got some vinyl art toys you got some resin citropolis you got some wall art right there creative stuff you got some again resin again what can i say you got some tokidoki stuff look at that iron man punk right there that's pretty cool right there but if you look, I mean, I'm sorry about that. If we're going on to a new boot, Anki Skulls. And who else do we have here? Oh, just me just walking around and checking out resellers and boots. You got the Hot Wheel stuff. And again, it's just a smallest venue. So I had enough time to kind of record, video record all these things. And you got some candles right there. And you got the old comic book guys who collect comic books and here we have squishies so again coming back to this booth again look at that i mean what can i say creative artwork right there you got the hippopotamus looking like han solo it's all done by patches here this is not hand painted or it's not airbrushed so that was pretty cool that was quite different one of one of the booths that was quite different so walking along as you can tell a lot of empty spaces and here that's more resellers right there lollygag i mean every time i see these people they always seem to go bigger and bigger bad forest that's one lollygag is one of the few oh john lao i bought some i bought an art from him that's the only thing i bought from CurioCon. how a shout out to john lao for signing uh signing the art that i bought from him that was the only thing so that's why i'm not making a, a CurioCon haul and so Katie Garcia again that this this lady is great. I mean check her art art. That's good stuff. Oh and sacred laughter again. Good stuff right there. I checked them out. A lot of good artists in this event. I'm telling you, this event was actually pretty cheap. Only ten dollars per day and fifteen dollars for the whole weekend. And here we have a reseller right here. You know just i saw some stuff that i wanted to buy just like that uh, kfc chicken but i mean i was really i wasn't really feeling it at the time i thought i was gonna get it but i just didn't and so here's another reseller right there had some totem poles some statues there's flintstones right there the shiny red skull i mean marvel I mean, he had some good stuff right there. Look at that mouse, RF. Man, that mouse looks creepy, if you know what I mean. And me just walking along and checking this boot, Vinyl Smack. I mean, they're more of a um, uh, architecture build right there. Okana image, just hand painted a flag, art frames. And this is the best boot of all CurioCon. I don't care who you are. Look at that. It's all ripped apart. Look at that boot. And you know who that person is? That The person is selling the, the artist is actually in the zombie form. Creative stuff. Again, th he has the best boot in CurioCon. And wall of bricks. Wall of Lego bricks, if I may add. Got some Legos right there. More resellers right there. And me just walking along, as you can tell. It's it, it was around 10 a.m. at this time now and again people are just slowly coming in and i go back to this boot look at that doug in a in goku form there is bobby hill in trunks uh king of the hill in napa i mean what can i say oh bart simpson in pokemon what can i say 
I mean, I was thinking of buying one, but they were a bit too small for my taste. I, I like my frames to be bigger. And here we have Mill House in Japanese form. I mean, this boot has some great stuff, I'm telling you. And Planet Awesome, man. Check out their stuff. I mean, I was blown away. They got jewelry, they got statues, they got skulls, they got dragons, they got snakes, they got animals in those crystal case and so one of the, I think this is one of the last boot I went to yep it is the last boot this is John Lau sound signing my art and so that's it that is my adventures in KyuCon 2017 I hope you all enjoy it I will see you in the next video bye bye